Hi, Happy New Year. It's January 7th, 2022. I'm Mike Stanton, and this is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for taking the time. Uh, first Friday of the month is always an unemployment report. This week was an interesting one. Uh, total job creation was much lower than expected, only 199,000. Uh, but the market still responded as though it was a sign of strong economy, in part because the unemployment rate fell to 3.9%. What did you see? I think um, I think the market responded you know, we had the Fed minutes on Wednesday. And so um, I think the Fed is, uh, you know, it appears that they're going to have to continue to kind of accelerate their timetable uh, in terms of tightening. So uh, that sort of um, sent the, the, the bears uh, in control. And then, and then this morning you point out the unemployment number on, its, on the face was uh, disappointing, um, but uh, the uh, bonds still traded off. I think largely, you know, average hour, hourly earnings were up more than expected at six tenths, and so it's year over year almost five percent. And I think the I think really inflation is kind of the, the big concern in here and has taken over. So um, and again, that's partly the result of the uh, FOMC minutes on Wednesday. I think is is uh, the Fed was pointing out. So um, it was a you know relatively dismal start to the year rate wise. We had um, rates were off about ten to fifteen basis points. Munis. We're down, you know, just five basis points in the ten-year part of the curve, and and ten basis points out longer. So, uh, municipals had more inflows. Um, I think eight hundred and twenty million um, inflow, and so they continue to kind of outperform, hang in there. I just don't think there's been enough supply or or kind of selling pressure uh, to um, to sort of drive uh, muni valuations um, where they probably should be. So. Uh, there was not a lot of trading this week, which, again, is somewhat symptomatic of, of a market that's being kind of slow to adjust to what treasuries are doing. So uh, we do think it's a little bit vulnerable here. Uh, we do. The calendar picks up next week um, to uh, over $8 billion, which um, is kind of in line with the weekly average last year. So I think that will be a little bit of a test for the market. And certainly those uh, those typical calendar uh, features like the January effect, we typically see muni market uh, demand exceeding supply in January, um, and those are just being exacerbated by the current uh, economic conditions. And, uh, you know, we expect to see more information about uh, inflation next week, uh, but certainly people are talking about a Fed rate hike as soon as March, so we'll keep watching those uh, factors. In the new issue market, still a fit, relatively quiet start this first week. Uh, next week, I know there's a little bit more than $8 billion on the BAM calendar. Uh, we're expecting about $100 million uh, par and short next week, led by the Allegheny Valley Joint Sewage Commission. Uh, that's right outside Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania. That's got a $34 million transaction coming with PNC as the lead manager. And that's a BAM Green Star transaction because it's funding sustainable water and wastewater uh, investments, particularly wastewater in this case. Uh, what else are you going to be watching for in the new issue slate this week? I think um, it, it's really uh, some of the, um, you know, I, I really think it's kind of how the deals get accepted. If we, um, uh, there does seem, you know, the January effect, as you point out, that does typically have a, a kind of affirming um, uh, uh, sentiment to it. Uh, but I also think that many, um, you know, municipal ratios have got to the point where there is going to be some resistance unless we see an adjustment in, in pricing. So um, it'll be interesting. I think that deals will kind of come um, to, to sell, but we have had you know, two or three weeks here with relatively little supply uh, on top of a huge January coupon payment. So I think all in all, the market's in good shape. Uh, we're probably a little bit ahead of ourselves, given uh, that there hasn't been kind of any supply. And, and uh, you know, so um, we'll see. I think our uh, we were seeing you know, December was one of our strongest months uh, in secondary insurance. Um, for last year, so I think that was, you know, largely the result of of kind of rate worries and uh, and Fed activity. Great. Well, thanks for the insight. We'll uh, we'll see how the following week plays out, and uh, talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.